We are back with Gwen's Wednesday on Y in the morning. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry on every social media platform. And it's time for Strength of a Woman. Special thanks to Hilda with Ethiopia and Joy Muchache for starting our Wednesday on a laughing note with breaking views. So if you have any video uh, that you think will make people laugh or impress people, send it to our social media handles, White Fair 4 channel on Twitter, White Fair 4 underscore channel on Instagram, and White to Fair 4 on Facebook. There are two things that are happening this week. We have the Valentine's Day and then we have Katika and Amash Hot mash auto the hashtag so if you'd like more information about this you can head straight to our social media handles as well but uh for this mash auto thing if you're a dance crew out there or you're a solo dancer record a video of yourself dancing and then tag us as white 54 channel on twitter white 54 underscore channel on instagram and white 54 on facebook don't forget the hashtag katika na mash auto will be picking 20 contestants who will be competing on saturday at the mash auto event in collaboration with white 54 and the winner will take away uh, 30000 shillings the first runners up will take uh, 20000 shillings and the third run the second runners up uh, rather will take home 10,000 shillings and then we'll have 10 people 10 selected people who will have a, a drive in the limousine in a mash auto limousine to a secret or a, uh, a, a secret location it has it has not been revealed yet so there's a lot going on at katika na mash auto the hashtag peep the hashtag on social media uh, be part of the hashtag if you're a dancer if you'd like to enjoy this saturday with us or if you'd like to get uh, some money in your pockets uh, in this season of valentine's and tomorrow we'll be having the love and hip-hop thursday on y in the morning at heron putico we'll be giving you more information about this uh, as the show progresses so right about now uh, for my strength of a woman we have the reigning miss universe Njeri Kimani, karibu sana. Asante sana. So Njeri Kimani, uh, your camera is number four. Mm -hmm. uh, you can give people a brief bio of yourself. All right. Uh, <coughs> my name is Njeri Kimani. Mm -hmm. I am a mother of one. A mother of one? Yes. I never saw that coming. Yes, I'm a uh, mother of one, a son. Uh -huh. He just turned seven years. Mm -hmm. Then I'm a teacher by profession mm -hmm. and also a show host mm -hmm. at uh, MTN TV, mm -hmm. Sambaza Gospel, mm -hmm. every Friday. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, I'm a teacher by profession. All right. Yes. So uh, you're good with kids. Very you're good with saved. kids. I'm a saved. Yes. I can't say I will. <laughs> I'm not saved. I am. Yes. All right. You're saved. Yes. Uh, so you host a gospel show as well. Yes. All right. Despite being the reigning Miss Universe. Yes. Did you ever, did you always want uh, to be a model? Well, not really. Actually, mm -hmm. it came from my best friend mm -hmm. who's called Liz. She's been pushing me all along. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I think you can do this. Your mm -hmm. body matches it. Your face matches it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I don't think I can do this. So mm -hmm. when I saw the Mrs. Universe, mm -hmm. I, I've been thinking I'm past being a miss. Uh -huh. So I saw the Mrs. Universe thing and I'm thinking, wow, a miss is a mother, you know? Mm -hmm. So I said, let me go for this and see how it goes. It was actually just having fun on the run, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm just there having fun and then it goes by contestant number mm -hmm. six. You're the reigning Mrs. Universe. When was this universe. that she came up with this bright idea no she's always been pushing me all along anytime uh -huh. she sees people modeling doing the runaway uh -huh. doing the modeling thing itself so she's compliments like, to her you have this crown yes uh -huh. it goes down to you her couldn't first. have done it without yes, her I couldn't what's have her done name it without we need her. to send her a shout out oh this is elizabeth wakahe uh -huh. a very good friend hi elizabeth wakahe <laughs> thank you very much for giving us the rainy miss universe right here all right yes uh -huh. Uh -huh. so uh get um, what i'm getting from you is that uh uh, you are pushed to do this. Yes. All right. Your passion mm -hmm. is in teaching. Yeah, yeah. I love teaching. I think it's the best option. You know, being bringing the change to the children uh -huh. and raising a different generation. Mm -hmm. That's what it is for me. All right. Where yes. do you teach, if you don't mind? Uh, I teach at Mosaiga Kindergarten uh -huh. uh, between the ages of uh, five years to six years. Mm -hmm. So I might say I have the top class. Uh -huh. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, what do they it. call you over there? Uh, they call me Miss Kimani. Miss Kimani. Yes. Not teacher Kimani. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Teaching is what I do. Uh -huh. My name is Kimani. All right. So, Kimani. so yes. they call you Miss Kimani yes. over there. I like that. You, you must be really good with kids. All I right. enjoy uh, doing that. So uh, your kid, having having a kid, yes. uh, teaching kids, mm -hmm. and uh, the cause of this Mrs. Universe mm -hmm. uh, was to impact the life of kids, yes. directly or indirectly. Yes, true. All right, but but before we talk about that, mm -hmm. how many categories were there in uh, November? Well, there were there were quite a number because mm -hmm. there was the Mrs. Congeniality. I had mm -hmm. that word for the first time. All right, oh, maybe you, you can <laughs> tell them what it means. So All you right, help them. Mrs. Congeniality is more mm -hmm. of the person who's the loving person, the friendly person, mm -hmm. and that's 
somebody had to go with a crown and mm-hmm. somebody who actually held us together mm-hmm. or maybe the person who was more motherly mm-hmm. in between us we are all mothers yes but mm-hmm. there's this that one person who stood out with mm-hmm. what she did eh? mm-hmm. so yeah that's the congeniality part mm-hmm. what did you do for that category congeniality category well uh, that one was just picked from how we related with each other mm-hmm. all along all right yes so they were studying the practice, you all along yes all right did that's they have cameras been. around No, it was not really cameras, but uh-huh. they had people looking at you all the time. Uh-huh. So you wouldn't know when you were being observed or mm-hmm. not. All right. Yes. Nice one. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the next category. Uh, we had uh, Mrs. Popularity. Uh-huh. Now this goes to Facebook, the social media. Uh-huh. You had to hunt for votes. Uh-huh. So we had somebody who was hunting. Vo- oh, for the congeniality, we had Judy Kamundia. Mm-hmm. She's the one who took it. Uh-huh. Then for the Mrs. Personality, we, I mean, that's Miss then popularity sorry mm-hmm. that was um somebody else took that mm-hmm. you had to hunt for the votes mm-hmm. get the votes and go home with the uh-huh. votes so you had to convince people why they should vote for you unfortunately mm-hmm. i was the lowest all right <laughs> uh, uh, when it comes to popularity uh, you are the lowest thing. that yes, is not your thing no that's not my thing <laughs> <laughs> all right but how did you get to become miss uh miss uh, mrs universe i think now it's more of uh, the holistic part of it uh-huh. now combined with the talent with the uh-huh. personality with the congeniality uh-huh. the to be one person who would actually fit the shoe of mm-hmm. all of them. I'm interested in the talent part. Uh-huh. What did you do for the talent oh, category? Oh, for my talent I did uh, a spoken word on uh-huh. gender based violence. Uh-huh. Yes. Is this something you've been doing over time? Not really. Uh-huh. It was actually a one off. A friend again pushed me to do it and she's uh-huh. like, "I think you talk a lot. You can come up with something. You're creative." <laughs> <laughs> so all I right. did it and I went for it actually mm-hmm. and it worked out just fine, you know? Right. I loved it. And then you won the crown. Yes, and Now. then it happens I won the crown, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But now you're working with the other winners of the other categories yes, yes, we are on all something together. special yes. gender based violence tell yes. me more about this well uh, looking at it right now mm-hmm. in this world that we are in right now it's very unfortunate we have a different case a different scenario happening every single day or even every 10 minutes mm-hmm. it's only that most of them are not reported mm-hmm. but going by the facts mm-hmm. it's happening too often than we thought mm-hmm. so it's there and it's not choosing who's it who's whether it's the boys or the girls mm-hmm. or the children or the babies mm-hmm. it's on everybody right it's now it's on everybody yes. uh, so people violating other people's rights yes. uh, based on their gender yeah based on All their right. gender yes All right what do you think is the root cause of this problem i think the way we've been brought up mm-hmm. the way we are bringing up our children the way mm-hmm. we were brought up is very different mm-hmm. and then again with the influence of the media mm-hmm. and then there's too much copying you see mm-hmm. like you don't even know why somebody is doing the way they're doing it but because you think you like it you mm-hmm. actually go for it. So your suggestion we should not watch wrestling. No. Without kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know I remember my mom used to say you can't watch wrestling because you'll start fighting. Uh-huh. Again, why are we letting these children watch wrestling? Are we explaining to them what those guys are doing? Uh-huh. Because if we teach them it's okay to hit. And then they don't even need to watch wrestling because already in our in our homes right now mm-hmm. we've made it a WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. So already we are fighting <laughs> in the houses. <laughs> they don't even need to watch yes, They All don't right. need to watch that wrestling. Mm-hmm. So there's no need to even watch that. They mm-hmm. can already see mommy hitting daddy or daddy hitting mommy. Mm-hmm. And they think it's all right. Uh-huh. If somebody pisses you off you hit them so it starts from a very yes. early stage yes, in yes, life yes, it's yes. what means still in our kids mm-hmm. right it's nothing yes. about personality no it's nothing it's actually how we are bringing up our children mm-hmm. because even the words we are saying to our children mm-hmm. they are carrying them with them right i remember a friend once telling me that he remembers the dad uh-huh. talking to the mom in a very rude manner and he can 30 years later he can remember himself telling the wife the same thing uh-huh. with the exact same amount of weight and bitterness that the father used on mm-hmm. the mom So that tells oh yeah. you something. Even with we might think they are children, they're just there, but mm-hmm. actually they're persons. They're It goes back. Things. Yeah, they actually because they're looking for a role model. Mm-hmm. So if they can't have somebody to emulate, where are we putting our children right now? All right. Yes. So uh, when we talk about gender-based violence, uh-huh. people assume that it's against women no. always. No, it's not against women. Right. It's gender. It's gender can be both female or male. Mm-hmm. So, so we yes. have men who are going through this for real. Kwanza right now, men, I think the problem with the men is that we've taught them eh, when you want to make jikaze. Mm-hmm. That's the problem we have right so now. So we hide it. Yeah, you're hiding mm-hmm. it. And it's going to a point where now we've got very high cases of suicide mm-hmm. and then depression is real. Mm-hmm. It's becoming too much. It's too rampant right now because of the men. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was talking to someone and on Sunday I was talking to a group of youths and I was telling them, it's like a balloon. You blow a balloon, you blow a balloon. So there's so much air going in it. Then what happens when it's 
too full it and it's it, yes, it yeah. explodes. Yeah. It's Tractures. the same thing that yes. Uh -huh. And even to our men, we've given it the attention too much on the woman. Uh -huh. We are looking you're overlooking the man. So uh -huh. the the man is trying to find a way to actually show we exist, we uh -huh. are here, we are there. So uh -huh. they're trying to become the perpetrators uh -huh. or hit the women because now the attention again is shifting uh -huh. because most of the perpetrators are actually men. Uh -huh. If you find out. All right. Yes. Wow, wise words from Jerry Kimani herself. Yes. Uh, that is the reason you're doing something for the boy child. We'll be talking about that in a yes. few. White Fifo channel on Twitter, White Fifo underscore channel on Instagram, and White Fifo on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtags Why in the Morning and Queen's Wednesday and Strength of a Woman. Don't forget the hashtags if you'd like to interact with us. Miss Jerry Kimani. Yes. So, uh, when it comes to gender based violence, mm -hmm. all right, uh, so we have got s some understanding mm -hmm. of the root cause of it mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the solutions you guys are bringing in with your crew well leave um, alone the solutions that we've always yes, yes, had yes. Uh -huh. so right now we're trying to do something different or say mm -hmm. the different way we're starting with the children mm -hmm. we are actually getting the children to talk to us mm -hmm. and tell us what they see mm -hmm. because but for the child to talk they actually have to trust you mm -hmm. and the moment they trust you, you're not supposed to break that trust so mm -hmm. you're not supposed to pass on that story to somebody else mm -hmm. but you find a way of solving that problem mm -hmm. because if that trust is broken right now mm -hmm. you cannot recover it mm -hmm. at any point mm -hmm. so broken we have tr trust is very hard yes. to recover yes and you uh -huh. know right now our children are not the way we were mm -hmm. your mom will tell you something like and they'll be like it's wrong to watch wrestling and you'll be okay okay i won't watch but mm -hmm. right now tell a child it's bad to watch that wrestling and they'll mm -hmm. be like why 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 they you know, it's question. the kwanini generation we uh -huh. call it the kwanini generation uh -huh. they want an explanation for uh -huh. everything that you tell them uh -huh. you see do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing that kids wants and want an explanation for everything i think it's both it's both it's it both lies good on the both and bad yes yes it's both right. good and the bad start with the bad well the bad because some of these things you can't even no you can't even protect them because mm -hmm. before you protect them you have to explain mm -hmm. right now they think if you wear something nice you know mm -hmm. they'll be like oh i look pretty but now if you tell them i think it's a bit it's a bit better if you learn how to cover yourself earlier uh -huh. than trying to cover yourself later and you're already used to dressing mm -hmm. in a certain way mm -hmm. i'm not getting personal with the women i'm just giving an example mm -hmm. here so right now if they ask you why should i not wear this mm -hmm. you need to explain mm -hmm. oh this will happen oh th they'll start telling you oh your mind is wrong or your mind is corrupt or you're thinking mm -hmm. the wrong way mm -hmm. see so but if it were the early days mm -hmm. my i'm sure my mother would even take it and throw it away and there's nothing i would do about it mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. I, I might even start looking for people to talk to mm -hmm. and even talk to my mama because i think my mama is wrong mm -hmm. but i think somebody once told me that an old man can see further than even a young boy standing up a tree mm -hmm. what does that tell you mm -hmm. that that wisdom has been there so they can see further not just by looking mm -hmm. even by feeling and understanding mm -hmm. it yes feeling and understanding it yes let's focus on the good now mm -hmm. uh, about kids are asking questions well the and good do you experience <laughs> this on a day today wow yes every day especially mm -hmm. in class at home mm -hmm. i go home my son is asking questions i'm <laughs> in class i have 15 <laughs> so i have 10 who are asking this 10 who are asking this uh -huh. they even pick up something from home and you have to explain it as a teacher because mm -hmm. again the parents are not there they're mm -hmm. too busy looking for the money mm -hmm. so again for us the teachers it has become a burden on us mm -hmm. you have to actually take care of that child mm -hmm. and fill in that gap the and, the and, the, and the parent mm -hmm. yes and then the broken families again mm -hmm. so you're either the mommy in that class mm -hmm. you have maybe like two children or three children you're also a mommy to that to those children mm -hmm. because they rarely see their mommies or even their mommies are never there mm -hmm. You see? All right. So it actually it becoming but anyway, you asking about the question. Let All me right. just answer uh, what that. Is yes. good, uh, the, the good, good about it mm -hmm. is that they get to understand things. Because you know, if you just tell me don't wear it, you've not told me why I should not wear it. Mm -hmm. But if you explain to me why, I'll understand and I'll carry that for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I'll actually remember it even mm -hmm. in days to come. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be able to choose between what I think is right and what I think is wrong, depending on the kind of answer mm -hmm. you give me and mm -hmm. how you give it to me. Mm -hmm. Whether you're giving it in a way to break me or uh -huh. you're giving it in a way to actually build me. So bottom line, kids mm -hmm. are going to ask questions. They definitely will. All right, so it's how we approach yes. the answering of yes. these questions. Yes. As parents, as, as teachers, even as, as guardians, friends. Yes. as uncles, yes. as Everywhere aunties. you go, yes. All right, so uh, I'm trying to understand. Uh -huh. uh, what are some of the parameters you use to to understand the the IQ of a of, of a kid maybe? 
if we digress a little bit? Well, it depends. Uh -huh. Depends on the upbringing. Uh -huh. Depends on where they come from, mm -hmm. and also depends on the environment. Mm -hmm. So, if you put those three things into con consideration, you'll mm -hmm. be able to handle that child as an individual. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you might have ten or even have three children in your own home, mm -hmm. but every child is a different person. Mm -hmm. And also, depending on the environment that you expose them to. Mm -hmm. And lately, we have our house helps who are really good. Mm -hmm. They're actually the house managers. Eh? Mm -hmm. They're managing our so homes they got for promoted us. Yes. They're the house managers they're managing the homes for us when we are away mm -hmm. but now what what are they bringing to the table for this child to copy when i'm away mm -hmm. am i that correct the child mm -hmm. is this person bringing the right thing to the child mm -hmm. or are they bringing what they've also learned from where they've come from mm -hmm. you see again they go to school another different environment mm -hmm. who are they interacting with mm -hmm. how are they relating with each other mm -hmm. then we go to churches another environment mm -hmm. then when they're playing outside again another environment the neighbors another environment mm -hmm. so it's all around us all right yes so uh, i feel like your approach to solving this G uh, gbv uh, is more futuristic because you're starting with the child well, right now, we might say, you know, yes, it's futuristic, but even right now, we have to deal with what we have. Mm -hmm. And that's why, again, we're even looking on the men, mm -hmm. on the men's side, mm -hmm. who we, ha we already have right now. Mm -hmm. And we're talking to them and telling them, it's okay to, f to be angry. It's okay to look for someone you can talk to. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you any less a human. Mm -hmm. Because you're a human being, I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. You're a man, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm a woman, yes. Mm -hmm. But the bottom we're line humans. is... Yes, we are humans. Uh -huh. And we both feeling, we have feelings, uh -huh. we feel the pain, we feel the pinch, and we all hurt. All right. And you can actually look for someone to talk to without being humiliated mm -hmm. or actually being suppressed and being told, no, men don't do that. Mm -hmm. We are changing this because the way things are happening right now is not the how they used to happen mm -hmm. in the earlier ages. All right. Yes. Are you working closely with the government when it comes to... Well, this. well, not really, but I think we are. I think it's a team. Mm -hmm. For me, I believe everybody together, everybody achieves more. That's what team stands for. Mm -hmm. So, if the government can help, we are ready for them. Mm -hmm. If this team can help, the Y254 can help, mm -hmm. we are ready for we everyone. Already yes, to we are here. So, yes, right. you see, uh -huh. so already it's everybody. Mm -hmm. If you're willing, we are willing because there's no way I can say I can stand as Mrs. Universe Kenya and fight this. I can't do this alone. Mm -hmm. Neither can my team or our team do this alone. All we right. all need to stand as one. Even after they take the crown yes. from you, yes, which I'm is not going, going to, to happen Definitely in November, this do you see a future? Yes, yes there's still a future. Uh, there's still because a future This with is you. not about the crown. Mm -hmm. I can put down the crown and be the person I need to be. This mm -hmm. is about Njeri Kimani. What is Njeri Kimani going to do? And that's why even after the competition, mm -hmm. I didn't walk solo. Mm -hmm. And we didn't break the Mrs. Universe contestants. No, mm -hmm. we are all together, back together as one. Mm -hmm. to find a way because right. we are going to the counties we have the county reps mm -hmm. in the same group mm -hmm. so we are going to Migori we are going to Nyanza we are going to Mombasa we are going all the way mm -hmm. we need to reach out to everyone where do you find the time to do all these things having a son mm -hmm. being a teacher mm -hmm. and uh, having a family let me say having a family mm -hmm. and being a teacher and having all this time to do all these things that pertain to being Miss Universe where there's will there's mm -hmm. a way where this world is away. Yes. Why so it's from Jerry Kimani, yes. Miss the reigning <laughs> Mrs. Universe. It started in 2016, right? Yes. All right. Yes. So uh, who was the founder of Mrs. Universe? A uh, very lovely lady mm -hmm. by the name of Tina, uh, Tina Lugano. Uh -huh. Very nice lady. Mm -hmm. Very understanding. Uh -huh. And I think the most amazing thing that happened to me last year was meeting that lady. Shout Tina out to Miss Tina Lugano. Yes. You have very interesting ways of raising funds. Uh, for this project that you guys are having. Maybe uh -huh. you can shed some light uh, on a few of them. Well, the first one that we have is the Skiza Tune, mm -hmm. where we actually have a Skiza Tune that talks about gender-based violence, mm -hmm. and you're actually getting that by just dialing star 811. Just look them All straight right. into <laughs> their eyes while you tell them All right. Uh -huh. I, I think, as I said, we need everybody on board. Mm -hmm. So please just get your phone, dial star 811, mm -hmm. star 194 hash. Mm -hmm and then just call. It's uh -huh. Safaricom. Mm -hmm. You'll be actually working the stuff with us mm -hmm. and helping end gender-based violence mm -hmm. because we have walks coming up. We have university tours coming up. Mm -hmm. All these to create awareness of gender-based violence so that people mm -hmm. can actually understand. Have I ever been a victim of gender-based violence? Because mm -hmm. it has happened to me, it has happened to you, but you didn't actually Maybe realize. Maybe it has happened to Yes, you didn't, didn't actually All realize right. it happened to uh -huh. you. Yes. Maybe I lo overlooked it. Yeah, you All overlooked it. Right. I liked it. that uh, during uh, raising of these funds, mm -hmm. you also create awareness yes. in the because yes. when I listen to the Skiza tune, mm -hmm. I'm going to be getting knowledge in the process. Yes, Is yes. it your piece, the spoken word piece? 
no it's not my spoken word uh-huh. it was actually something created by Mrs Universe together uh-huh. with uh, Enable IT uh-huh. another crew that you're working with a uh-huh. very wonderful team also uh-huh. i think as i said teams will always take you further if you work together so those two teams amazing people a lot of wisdom on queen's wednesday today mm-hmm. yes so maybe you can share your social media handles before you tell us uh what you have going on uh sometime next month i think no for it's the actually boy. this month uh, sometime this month yes for the boy child yes all right for the boy your child. social media handles first and then we can proceed all right uh, if you're looking for us on twitter mrs universe ke then on facebook mrs universe kenya <laughs> then there's mrs universe kenya 2018 jerry kimani then there's uh WhatsApp I mean sorry not WhatsApp Instagram Mrs Universe Kenya all just right. look for Mrs Universe Kenya that's us that's all of us together yes the main event now for the voice here well uh-huh. um it was actually a request from a friend uh-huh. who actually told me he was going to do something on uh on on the boy child mm-hmm. and um, i feel it's time we stand for the boys because everybody right now is standing for the for the girl child mm-hmm. and that's when uh, he told me he was going to be doing a walk in nakuru mm-hmm. pertaining the boy child mm-hmm. so that you can create more awareness on sexual harassment on the boys mm-hmm. and everything that pertains to the boys mm-hmm. another very able guy karanja boy mm-hmm. child mm-hmm. so it's going to be going down on the 23rd mm-hmm of february so mm-hmm. it's just a week from now because not this weekend the other weekend on saturday mm-hmm. so it's going to be a walk people are going to walk we are going to walk together mm-hmm. then we are going to have discussions on how best we're definitely going to go far walking yes, together yes we have to walk together there's no way we can do it alone mm-hmm. because right now if i said i was going to come to this studio i don't even have a studio of my own mm-hmm. but because i'm working together with y254 mm-hmm. again i'm right mm-hmm. here mm-hmm. yes it can get to everybody who's watching us today and listening to us from wherever wonderful the date time venue uh it's going to be nakuru mm-hmm. railway grounds mm-hmm. on 23rd starting from around uh, 9 a.m in the morning mm-hmm. and then maybe we're going to have like two hours walk and then sit down and talk and then we exchange ideas on how well we can help the boy child thank you very much for coming yes. through mrs universe the uh, reigning mrs Sana. universe thank Jerry you for having me yes. it's been a pleasure it's i've learned a, a lot from too. you if right. we walk together we are going to go far yes we will what enjoy your money thank you very much and keep doing what you're doing for the society and uh, for your family sometimes you're allowed to be selfish <laughs> no it's all right i'm always selfish i can't right. give what i don't have yes all right so if i can't have time for my family there's no way i'll have time for even the mrs universe all right all the rest of the world wonderful thank yes. you very much for coming yes mrs njeri kimani uh, miss the reigning mrs universe and she has an amazing cause against gbv gender-based violence you can find on social media uh, as Mrs Universe Kenya 2018 Njeri Kimani mm-hmm. or Njeri Kim that's me Njeri with a with a y and Kim Ki and then M um. All right. Yes. Doesn't get better than this. This is how we sum up our uh, strength of a woman segment. Uh, Callum Eval is coming up next with Girls Talk. You don't want to miss this. It's a hot topic about Valentine. Don't go nowhere. All right.